Oh, hey, it's got me reading my Bible. So good to see all of you. So we've been getting a ton of questions this week and one that rose to the top was the issue of purity and the question of why. Why would I need to uh, be pure? Why am I not allowed necessarily to have sex outside of marriage or how come I can't sleep around um, when I'm not hurting anyone? It's just because I, I like doing it. So I want to talk about the issue of purity uh, very quickly. I was having a conversation with my friend the other day. And he asked, man, Jay, why, why are we not allowed to have sex outside of marriage? I don't see exactly where it says that in the Bible. So what is the big deal? And my immediate answer to him was actually, well, it does say uh, that sex should be under the context and inside of marriage. It does say that in the Bible. And so I began to talk to him. I said, well, but when you do, let me ask, let me ask a question, man. How do you feel afterwards? So what do you mean? I said, when you have sex with someone that, that's not your wife, um, how do you feel? And as we begin to peel back the layers, uh, the emotions were loneliness, um, a sense of shame, a sense of emptiness, and an insatiable desire to need to do it again. And as we begin to focus on that feeling, it became very clear very quickly about Jesus's heart for us in purity. Sometimes we get uh, the misconception that because Jesus wants us to live a pure life, that that somehow means that we can't have fun. And I understand that because fun is awesome. I love having fun. I love laughing. I love feeling exhilarated. I love the ecstasy of, uh, of amazing moment. Fun is great, but somehow we get it in our heads that because we can't do exactly what we want when we want, that means that we can't have fun. And my friends, let me tell you that Jesus did not just come to give you a good life or a nice life or even a great life. He came to give you a life in abundance. That is a holistic, full, joy-filled, peaceful life that also involves your sexuality. God's heart for you in sex is that you would experience wholeness and joy and peace and a fulfillment where you know that you don't need uh, to, to fill this insatiable desire for sex, but rather you have you have met your counterpart and you are doing something that is holy and there is no shame around it and you feel even energized after you do it because you're so grateful that is happening under the context um, that God has designed for us. And so when we talk about purity, we are talking about the practice that gets us closer to God, that gets us closer to Christ, which ultimately leads you to a more joy-filled place. I hope I'm being clear um, that purity is actually really, really fun. I know that sounds counterintuitive and that doesn't make sense, but a life bent towards purity and a life bent towards discipline and ritual can lead you to a much more fulfilled life. Let me give you an analogy. Imagine going to a soccer game and right before kickoff, all the players just run out of the field, they run up into the stands and one, one guy's throwing up a soccer ball and the other guy just throws up and there, there's just no rules, complete lawlessness. People are just running around. How much fun would you have at that game? You spend $80 to come see a great soccer game and it's just complete chaos. Man, I bet for the first two minutes, the first three minutes, man, it'd be fun. You'd be cheering. This is crazy. I've never seen anything like this. But by hour two, you'd be like, wait, hold up. This, this is just, this is nuts. It can be the exact same thing with our lives. What am, I, what am I saying? I'm saying that freedom can only happen in the context of rules. True freedom, true joy, true happiness, true fulfillment can only happen in the context that God has designed for us in marriage. And so if you submit to those rituals, if you submit to those methods and take up the path towards purity, I promise you, you're going to have a much more joyful life than you ever thought possible. Hey guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us on Ask a Pastor. If you found this content valuable or if it blessed you, go ahead and subscribe right now. 
Also, if you have a question that you want answered here, please email us at askapastor at ccvsocal.com.